How are we all doing? Welcome back. Today we're going to cook this amazing leg of mutton from Roast Mutton Butchers. Now they've very kindly boned it out and tied it up for us. As you can see it's looking lovely, a lovely layer of fat covering it. So what we're going to do is just keep things really really simple because I want the ingredients to speak for themselves. I don't want to cover them with loads of like barbecue rubs and sauces and sort of ruin all the beautiful work that's gone into the husbandry of this animal. So I want to keep it pretty simple. I've got some smoked salt from Cornish sea salt and I've also got some black pepper. We're going to add a little bit of wood to help the smoke penetrate into the meat. We've got the Kamado Joe Classic Free setup for the rotisserie attachment and we're going to use the meter block to help guide us home. Think of this as our lighthouse on the cliffs guiding us to perfect lamb cookery. The meat is really easy, all you do is remove it from its casing and plonk it into the thickest part of the lamb and then the app does the work. Mad science. Yep, some mad science occurs. Basically the meter calculates from the ambient temperature in your barbecue how long your meat will cook take to cook. So we want the lamb to be around 60 degrees Celsius, we want it sort of fairly pink but not too pink. And uh, yeah, we're going to serve this as like a roast dinner today. So basically we're going to cook the meat on the barbecue outside and all the other stuff's going to be done inside because otherwise you'd never be able to fit everything into your oven or vice versa into the barbecue. So we're going to do veggies and taters inside, meat outside. But um, preparation really, really simple. As I've said, they've already boned it and tied it for us, which means I don't want to untie it and put stuff in it. I'm going to keep it really simple and just use a sharp butchery's knife, a starret butcher's knife, and just make some sort of rough slashes across the surface so then we can get the salt and pepper into the meat and the crevices we've created. Really, really just lightly sort of scoring the top. This knife is mega sharp and I don't want to go too deep into that flesh and I don't want to cut the strings either because that would be bad. And there we go just some rough incisions on the top and then we're going to use some olive oil and then give it a good old massage. massage. Not forgetting the bottom of the meat as well because you, you think we're going to go on the rotisserie so it's going to continuously turn um, so you don't want the bottom to have no rub or salt on or anything like that. Quick wash of the hands because we don't want to contaminate our salt and pepper with the the meat we've just handled so quick wash of the hands and then we're going to use our Cornish smoked flaky sea salt which is going to give it some really nice smoky flavour. So these are nice big pieces so we're going to just liberally go onto the lamb I bought these trays off Amazon a little while ago. They were two for 20 quid, really good for meat because basically when you season your lamb, you can catch all the season that falls off and then at the end, we'll just basically pick that up off the tray. Uh, so we'll go with some nice pepper now as well. Electric pepper mill works smarter, not harder. And as I said now, we're just gonna flip it over and season the back side of our lamb. So again, quick hand wash and then finish the seasoning. You can be pretty liberal with the seasoning because you think quite a lot of it's gonna fall off when it basically rotates, you're gonna lose some of it. So always go kind of heavy on the seasoning because it's not all gonna stick. And now we just put some gloves on because I can't bother to keep them washing my hands every time I stop touching the lamb. So as I said, we're just gonna basically pick up whatever is kind of fallen off on the tray and get it on our sides of our lamb. Beautiful. Now we're gonna skewer the lamb through the center of it. It's not, dead straight but I still think we can get a good sort of line through the lamb with the skewer and then we'll basically stabilize it with these 
rotisserie prongs or whatever they're called, spokes. You can tell me below in the comments. There we go. So that is our lamb ready for the rotisserie. We'll use our things to stabilize it. But as I said, we want to use our meter to help guide us through this cook. So the meter probe goes into the thickest part of the lamb, which is probably here. And we'll put it in fairly deep into that lamb because obviously we want to get a true internal temperature of it. So I've got a nice couple of pieces of cherry wood that's going to go in as well. And we should get some nice smoke. The fire's nice and hot, so this could get some clean combustion. So we'll have some nice smoke going into our lamb. So let's get this on the grill now. So we're about halfway through the cook. The meat wrap suggests it's gonna be about an hour and 15 minutes to cook this lamb. So we're about half the way through now and that is looking pretty amazing. As I said, I wanted the ingredients to speak for themselves. So we've got some beautiful color going on now on the lamb. It's picked up a little bit of smoke from our cherry wood. That's looking good. Oh yeah. Smells amazing. So we've just received the notification oh, from yeah. our app that the lamb has look cooked. So it's time to take it off and look at that. It's looking pretty amazing actually. A lovely bark has formed from that salt and pepper. Lovely smoked salt from Cornish sea salt. That's pretty epic. Good cherry wood. And we've not really used that much charcoal either. So we've still got a little bit left in the Kamado Joe. But yeah, look at that. Amazing, that's going to transform any roast dinner. Do your meat on the, out, on the barbecue outside and yeah, add some different flavours to your dinner. So our lamb is ready, it's rested as well. The meter tells you how long to rest your lamb for. So let's carve into it and see how we've done. I wanted it medium, so we should have a little bit of pink, but I suspect we've picked up quite a lot of smoke from our cherry wood we use. So we'll carve into it and see how we've done. I'll bring you in. Oh, that's looking good. So perfectly pink lamb, wanted it medium. The meter has really basically decent. guided us nice to that amazing blushing pink lamb. succulent lamb. Still pink and in yeah, the all we have to do now is dig in. So thank you very much for joining me. I've been Jack from Jack's Meat Check, and I will see you all very soon for another video. See you later.